Democrat Atlanta prosecutor jailed for stealing $15 million in COVID funds to buy Rolls Royce and 10 carat diamond ring. Can you believe this one? I do. I believe it. And this is from the Gateway Pundit. I'll do I'll do a bunch of news off of here, so we'll we'll just do a bunch of news off of here. As previously reported, a federal jury in the Northern District of Georgia has convicted a, Demo a Georgia attorney, a former city of Atlanta police officer, of fraudulently obtaining approximately $15 million in loans under the Paycheck Protection Program. Mm -hmm. Look at this. The former Atlanta prosecutor used the mon COVID money to fund a lavish lifestyle, which included the purchase of a Rolls Royce, a 10 carat diamond ring for $148,000, as well as significant money transfers to relatives and accomplices. Yeah. Uh, Sheila Robinson, a 62 Atlanta, was found guilty on multiple counts of fraud, including conspiracy to cr commit wire fraud and fraud itself in money laundering in December. Robinson on Friday was sentenced by U.S. District Judge Stephen D. Grinsberg to seven years, three months in prison to be followed by three years of supervised release, which means probation. Let's see what other news is up in here. Well, I said we're on the Gateway Pundit. They always pop, pop them fucking. Sorry. Uh, FN. Oh, do you want to see the new dance craze? The Do the Biden. Yeah, this is cool. Do the Biden. Yeah, Do the Biden, the latest dance craze that's turning heads for all the wrong reasons. And you know what reasons that is. Yeah, when he took, when he pooped his pants. Look at this. He pooped his pants. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I gotta shit. I gotta take a shit. Distinguished oh, guests, oh, please shit. welcome oh, oh. the Honorable Lloyd J. Austin. <laughs> yeah, I like how they both look, too. Like, oh my God, he just shit. I could smell it. <laughs> so, here's the new dance. <laughs> Messed up. Your president of the United States is a laughing stock. Mm -hmm. Yep, he sure is. <laughs> I hate this. Uh, we're going to get out of this one after this one. Uh, Mayor Eric Adams on grand jury's decision to investigate campaign corruption. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> oh, the ridiculousness of these uh, people. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't know I was stealing the money. No. Oh, Eric, Mayor Eric Adams is a typical display of arrogance and the deflection claim. He had no idea about the grand jury's proceedings investigating his shady campaign fundraising activity. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. I'm Eric Adams. I'm the mayor. I'm an ex-cop. 
the mayor dodge addressing reporters on the uh, as he made a scene in the 39th street annual 116th street festival in, in east harlem on saturday no idea no idea no idea he added as his team shut down further questions mm -hmm. yeah he has no idea how that money got there yeah he don't know that money mm -hmm. he arrived two hours late for the latin festival just one day after the post reported that the grand jury was reviewing evidence of the fbi probe likely for the purpose of issuing subpoenas in the case. At least one person connected to the mayor was served a subpoena linked to the investigation sources say, remember one of his assistants house was raided by uh, the FBI. Yeah, one of his assistants house was raided by the FBI a couple months back. Adams maintained that he was unaware of the recent developments even though he was often admitted to being an active reader of the post mm -hmm. they don't tell me stuff let me follow the process speak to counsel the council will explain to you the normal press process he said the mayor is a jolly mood despite the looming investigation mm -hmm. did not speak again on the topic before talking taking the stage for a few brief minutes look at his clown he's a clown look at him that's look like a clown i don't know yeah he was put in place i'm done i told you i'm done with this i i can't do this <laughs>